Hello everyone, so today I'm going to walk through the steps of dividing, <clears throat> but this time we will be getting a remainder. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at this problem and know that I'm going to have a remainder because if we know our multiples of 5, we know numbers that end in 0 and 5 are divisible by 5. However, this ends with a 2. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. And so when I say remainder, we're just talking about that leftover um, that cannot be part of a complete group. And so in this case, be a complete group of five. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and draw our area model. We know my divisor is five. It's that number trying to get into our dividend, which is 342. <clears throat> so I look at my number and I'm thinking, well, I need to get five into here and I need to get as close as I can. And so I am gonna stick with my multiples of 10 because if I were to do hundreds in this case, five times 100 is 500. That is way too big. So I'm going to go over here and I'm, I'm going to start with, well, I'm going to use some of my knowledge of my multiples of 5. And I'm going to look at these first two digits. And I'm going to say, well, what times 5 gets me close to 34? Well, I know 5 times 6 is 30, so that 5 times 60 would be 300. Well, let me just go ahead and check 5 times 70 as well, <clears throat> which I would get 350. <clears throat> Well, that is too much, so I'm going to go ahead and use 60. So then I'm going to go 60 times 5 is 300. So that means that I've used up 300 of 342, which leaves me with, when I do the math, 42. So I need to go ahead and make sure I get rid of that 42 as well. So I'm going to move the 42 over. And then I would ask myself, well, what times 5, which we go up here, what times 5, will get me close to 42. Because again, we know that nothing times five will get me exactly 42. Well, I know that five times eight is 40. So eight times five, go down here, put 40, and we're gonna subtract that out. And we're gonna get two left over. Now we look at this number and we say, okay, can we make a complete group of five with only two? If you can't make a complete group of your divisor, then we know that this is going to be a remainder because it is that leftover. It can't make a group. So we're going to go and we're going to go up top and we're going to go ahead and add our two numbers up here, which would be 68. And when we have a remainder, we just put a capital R and the remainder in this case is two. Now to check our answer, we can use multiplication. And if we think back to our area model of multiplication, we had our two numbers on the outside and now we do. And so we can go ahead and check. So we have 68 and we're gonna multiply it by five. And we should get our inside number, our dividend, which is 342. So when we check our answer, when we're using a remainder, we're gonna only use our number first and then we'll add the remainder at the end. So let's go ahead and check. So we're gonna do 68 times five. We know five times eight is 40, so I'm gonna put a zero carry that 4. 5 times 6 is 30, but I have to add that 4 back, and so if I add 30 to 4, I get 34. And then I have to carry that 3, and I get 340. Now I'm not done yet, because I have to add those 2 back in. So when I add 2 to 340, I get 342, which gets me back to where I needed to be, and that tells me that our answer is correct. <clears throat> 